my Vierge. Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are going to talk about something better than vanilla. You know that I love vanilla. And what can be better than vanilla? Well, tonka. <laughs> Tonka bean. Tonka has different nuances. It can either smell like vanilla or tobacco or a little smoky or also as amaretto. It has a gourmand vibe, of course. It can also be used in food. Personally, I have never eaten anything with tonka. When a fragrance has both vanilla and tonka bean, I find it difficult to identify which one I am smelling. I have noticed that the tonka bean is deeper, darker and smokier. Tonka bean has also some medicinal aromatherapy properties. For example, it's calming, it can be used as an anti-stress and it's also considered an aphrodisiac. Today I have different tonka fragrances and I group them in different categories. I have classy tonkas, chocolate tonkas, cozy tonkas, fruity and also floral tonka fragrance. Yes, there is such a thing. I have tonka fragrances for everyone. Wait until the end. At the end, I will share which tonka fragrance is my favorite out of all of them. Let's start with the chocolate tonka. And the first one is from Rosendo Mateo, 1970s. This has tonka bean, of course. It says here, tonka expansion glamour and chocolate earthy notes it smells a little bit like guerlain gourmand coquine or feb gourmand if you make it earthier and longer lasting it's so beautiful and it smells glamorous it smells like the most upscale chocolate super long lasting without being too gourmand or too much in your face it's really a beauty and it smells like great gatsby as you can see the bottle it smells exactly like this rosendo mateo 1970s the chocolate tonka and the other chocolate tonka perfume is from christian Louboutin, louis prince the winner of the ugliest bottle in a recent video this fragrance has labdano tonka bean and sandalwood it smells so beautiful and classy long lasting in the beginning you would consider it more masculine maybe but as it dries down it gets completely unisex and beautiful and it has the texture of an airy chocolate if you know how that is and it's very abstract it's not realistic chocolate Christian Louboutin, Louis Prince. In the chocolate category, if I had to choose between the two of them, I would choose Rosendo Mateo 1970s if I had to keep only one of them. Next, we have luxurious Lux Tonka beans. The first one is from Navitus and I spoke about it in my video with vanilla fragrances. Are they naughty or nice? And in the meantime, I realized that what I smelled was tonka bean because it's much deeper and sexier than a simple vanilla. It's splendor absolute. This has tonka bean, of course. It also has chocolate, but I don't smell the chocolate. That's why it's not in the chocolate category. And cardamom and driftwood. It's so stunning. Imagine taking the best parts out of Rosendo Mateo number no. 5 and out of Yves Saint Laurent baby cat and you would get this. It's completely luxurious. This smells as if I am walking on a catwalk and I reach the front of the catwalk and I receive a gift that is wrapped in the most luxurious golden paper wrap. This smells like a gift, like a luxurious gift. Beautiful, splendor absolute from Navitus. And the other luxurious tonka bean perfume that smells like money, really, is from Yves Saint Laurent, six plus Saint Suplice. This has tonka bean, saffron, leather, labdanum. It's more masculine and it smells like a new bag a new shop that is filled with dollar bills imagine that it smells like wealth now the battle if i had to choose between the two of them and keep only one i would pick 
Navitus Splendor Absolute. Next up, we have the Classy Tonka Bean. And what house is better at making classy fragrances other than Guerlain? So the first one is Guerlain Shalimar Tonka. This has Tonka and Vanilla and Iris and Almond. It's like the classic Shalimar with an extra addition of Tonka Bean. It smells dark, vintage and sensual. In the same category, I would add from Guerlain Tonka Imperial. I have the sample here. This also has tonka bean and almond and it also has tobacco and rosemary. I much prefer this. It's less vintagey than Shalimar Tonka. Oh, by the way, I made a list with my top 10 fragrances for life and the top 10 books that changed my life. If you are curious, check them out below. Another fragrance that has tonka bean and I love very much is from Guerlain also and that's their extra. I love it. It's my favorite out of the entire extra collection. The downside is the price. In Switzerland, it's over 700 Swiss francs, the same as Euro and it's above my limit. I'm not going to pay 700 Swiss francs for 50 ml. I'm not, I'm just not. But it is beautiful. The price is outrageous. If I had to choose only one fragrance out of this classy Tonka fragrance category, I would choose Guerlain Tonka Imperial. Next category is with Tonka bombs, exclusively Tonka <laughs> Masters. The first fragrance that I have is from BDK. Yes, BDK, I always confuse BDK with EBK. And it's Velvet Tonka. Now we have the new Swiss Arabian's Shaga Food Tonka. I have not tried it. If you have, let me know below. They are supposed to be similar. I have this one. The dry down doesn't bother me. It has Tonka Bean and Amber Wood and Almond. I can see the Amber Wood getting annoying, but not for me. It's not one that I would wear to bed. It's one that is airy and I wear it mostly in the first part of the day. Velvet Tonka, long lasting, airy, sweet. And I think it smells similar to the Charlotte that you have in those vanilla cones. Beautiful Velvet Tonka from BDK. The other Tonka Master Tonka perfume is from the Merchant of Venice. I have here the travel side. It's from their Accorde di Profumo Tonka Venezuela. This has Tonka and Vanilla. And I actually prefer this one more than the Merchant of Venice Vanilla. It's a beautiful, simple Tonka fragrance. It's similar to Velvet Tonka if you remove that amber wood and all the annoying aspects. The other simple Tonka that I have today is from Boucheron, Feb Tonka de Canaima. This is only a sample, I don't have the big bottle. It's similar to the other two in this category, also similar to Velvet Tonka if you remove the annoying aspects and remove some of the sweetness. This one doesn't last as long on me, but maybe it's because I have this simple sample. You don't need both in my opinion. If I had to choose only one fragrance from this simple Tonka category, I would choose the Merchant of Venice, Tonka Venezuela. This is the most beautiful one. Next up is the cozy Tonka Bean fragrance. And the fragrance is from Laboratorio Olfativo, Tonka De. This is so beautiful, it's um, grown up. Tonka bean fragrance. It's super sensual and cozy. It has tonka bean and patchouli and tobacco, incense, dried fruits. It's like a warm plush sweater enveloping your skin. Beautiful. Tonka de from Laboratorio Olfativo. Next we have the floral. 
and the floral tonka bean fragrance is from Maison Lancôme, Tuberose Castan. This has chestnut, tonka bean and tuberose. It's gourmand, thick, syrupy, sweet, it's so beautiful, it smells like a rich woman eating some syrupy, sweet dessert and wearing a tuberose fragrance. Beautiful tuberose castan from Maison Lancôme. And the last category is the fruity, the fruity tonka bean. The first one is from Pearlescent Perfumes, Tonka Azur. This has blackberry, blackcurrant, champagne, tonka bean. It's a tonka bean bomb. It's so sweet for me. It smells like plum, plum compote that my mom used to cook with extra, extra sugar. Super long lasting, a beast fragrance. Beautiful Tonka Azur from Pearlescent Perfumes. It smells blue, almost purple, deep, dark purple. And the other fruity tonka bean is from Pierre Guillaume, Tonka Boticon. I don't have the bottle, I have the sample here. This is beautiful, it smells a little bit like Angel Share from Kilian. It has tonka bean and apple, so that's the fruity aspect. Tonka bodycon, they say that bodycon comes from two words, body and conscious. And it's supposed to be like a tonka aura surrounding you. It's, it's supposed to be a skin scent, so it's not very powerful. It's very intimate. It's not very long lasting. So the winner in the fruity category is Tonka Azur from Pearlescent Perfumes. Now, if I had to choose only one fragrance out of the entire lineup from today, it would be a battle between these two, Splendor Absolute from Navitus and Rosiando Matteo 1970s. I don't know which ones to pick. I love both of them so much. So I think if it had to be only one, it would be Navitus at a very, very close point. Zero, zero, one. Yeah, Splendor Absolute is the winner for today's video. That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite Tonka bean fragrance. Tonka is also included in my name because it's one of my favorite notes. Before I go, I want to leave you with a quote. We don't change the world by what we say or do. We change it as a consequence of who we become. Wear what makes you happy and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.